I am always, oh God, have mercy. I'm always working on my praise. At the doctor's office, I'm working on my praise. You say, what for? When when he tells me ain't nothing wrong with me. When they tell me my boy's got bad diabetes, uh, when they tell me that my boy might die, and people start praying, and in about three days he goes home, uh, and he says, I felt the prayers of the Lord. (laughs) When your little brother gets run over by a tractor, and it leaves prints on his face, uh, and mama, he could have been dead today, uh, but the Lord delivered him. My daddy's dying with cancer and he can't talk to me no more. But the Holy Ghost moves in that room and he starts talking in tongues. I've got to make some noise for Jesus. Our lack of praise may or may not speak anything to those around us. But it speaks volumes spiritually. Say, well, I'm not an emotional kind of person. Then you need a good dose of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, you ought to watch somebody who says they ain't emotional. Mess up and pull a 20 out of their billfold instead of a 1. Oh, I've watched it happen. Brother Terry, they get emotional. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, what's the problem? You about to have a heart attack? No, put a 20 instead of a 1. Give me trade back. Say, well, that's about emotions. Let me tell you something. My praise ain't got nothing to do with emotions. But every time I've ever started praising him, I can't help but then get emotional. Am I victorious or am I defeated? Am I thankful or am I indifferent? Romans 12, 1 through 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Holy and acceptable to God. It's not that sacrifice of the law of the tabernacle plan, but it is of necessity. You've got to give your whole self to the Lord for those who would live for and reap the gifts of God. You hear me right now, and this is powerful. You cannot, you cannot work for the devil and get wages from the Lord. But the sacrifices of praise are offered by Jesus Christ. The free offering of our praise is indicative of our awareness of the sacrifice that he gave. Once and for all, for our salvation, for the whole world. It is a declaration of the intent to offer of the fruit of our lips. Recognizing that there's been an opportunity given to us every time we come to the house of the Lord. Because Sister Maria, their sacrifice was a lamb they took care of. My sacrifice is, according to the Bible, the fruit of my lips. You cannot, the Bible does say, in one place, clap your hands unto the Lord, all you people. One place. But clapping is the most common form of praise we all do. And about nine-tenths of the time, it ain't really praise. Let me tell you something. I've been in a service. I'm wrapping up. Maybe. I've been in a service where somebody got to clapping on, on, in the Holy Ghost. There's a big difference. Clap your hands unto the Lord, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hebrew says, 13 and 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Now, why did I tell you they called it a sacrifice of praise? Do you remember? It's a a particular thing. There's a reason for it. It's not just something they need to fill up, but it's called a sacrifice of praise. Why? You remember? I just told you. 
Because it's to differentiate it from the ones you got to do. The sacrifice of praise defines it as the one you bring because you want to. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Man, I came up on these pews. There's been more than a few times that I go stand. I got the Holy Ghost right in front of that snack bar over there. Just a few feet back from that snack bar is where our altar was. And that's where I was praying when I got the Holy Ghost. It's right in that vicinity. I've stood there. I came up on these pews. I used to, my grandma was my babysitter. And I've been following grandma in her house slippers through the kitchen into the living room where we was probably going to sit down on that chair and read the funny paper. And she shuffled through there. And I'd be standing behind her, Brother David. I remember this. I can see it happening. She'd have her house coat on. She probably just made me two eggs, fried them in butter, and left the bubble on top. Prettiest bubble you've ever seen in your life where it would run. She goes, Grandma was old school. She'd come in there while you still snuggled up under the covers, and she'd say, what do you want for breakfast? How many eggs? How do you want them cooked? And what do you want them cooked in? And we just finished eating breakfast. And we was walking, and we got about right here between, y'all better be careful, that's where you live right now. We got there, Kim don't know nothing about this, so there used to be a doorway right there, and the phone hung right here. And I've seen her so many times, and she shuffled right there, and she would say, Woo, bless the Lord, Woo." Every time that she got the Holy Ghost on her, her arms started jumping. And she might be about to fall down because she just got to stop. Breakfast has got cooking. They took care of everybody else. But she would just say, bless the Lord. Woo! That's what I came up with. It wasn't about a show. It wasn't about putting on anything. It's about offering the sacrifice of praise of our lips continually. How long has it been since you stood at your kitchen sink uh, with a glass of tea with a Kleenex wrapped around it uh, and stood there and praised God for the pretty birds? Say, if you ain't praising Him here, you ain't praising Him nowhere. If you ain't praising Him with all this going on, you ain't praising Him nowhere. Stand with me. By Him, therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips. you got to open your mouth. And it ain't got nothing to do with nobody around you. It ain't got nothing to do with making a service leader happy. Giving thanks to His name. No other name, no other name, no other name I know. No other name, it was an opportunity.